Can you name one quote that uh, what do you think is is a cool one? In the um, I like the uh, the one that's around around the hairpin. Where it says enough of this normality. And um, that's a guy called Kenny Everett who used to be a radio DJ in, in England in the 60s and 70s. And he used to do this um, he used to do this radio show called the Bottom 30, which is basically the 30 worst records in the world or something like that. It's ridiculous. But we used to listen to it all the time in the studio. Um, it's Daryl's way of inspiring us. Yeah. Okay. Playing the worst records ever. Yeah. And <laughs> picking the best bits out of empty coffee. Um, what was it? What can you remember one of them? Oh, the worst record. Oh, honestly. I wish I could remember because yeah. some of them were actually brilliant. <laughs> just things like just people yodeling, things like that. I just oh, they were just shocking. Really shocking. I think there's one where it was like an, El an Elvis song, but kind of done by chicken noises instead of singers. It's very strange. But yeah, anyway, that was enough of this normality. That was off his his yeah. radio show. We put that on because we thought that as, as an album, it kind of it's quite poppy to start with. Yeah. And then when it gets to round the hairpin, I think it kind of goes a bit a bit more dark. You know, it goes to a different area. So we thought that was quite a nice quote to have in there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so one more time back to yeah the title, couples. Um, are you still a couple with Emma in the bed? <laughs> I'm not laugh. Uh, no, I'm not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Uh, has it has it changed the band a lot or? Um, I don't know. I don't really talk to anyone in the band. <laughs> has it changed uh, according to you? Mm, no, we we still hate each other. <laughs> 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 okay. So uh, everything. Uh, Everything's normal. Everything's normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Business as usual. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so then it is. What was on your website? It suggested like this is was one of like a big breakup album, like rumors from Fleetwood Mac. But is that the case or? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it kind of stretches back to the whole idea of the album being called Couples, I think, you know. That was a little, kind of obviously that was a little bit of a joke, but I think, you know, everything that you do, well, certainly for me, like a lot of lyric, you know, a lot of my kind of experience in life does come through to the lyrics, whether I'm writing about me or someone else. So, um, yeah, I suppose to a certain extent it is. It's, uh, yeah. do, you, do you like this, uh, do you like rumors for film like yeah, well, that's I kind really of the reason like we mentioned this. it, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> we, we like to like, flee with Mac and Abba and bands like that, where they kind of had couples in, but yeah. kind of split up, but still got on with it, because they were professionals as well. Yeah. So you, Good work, I think. You want to do it the same way? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, to conclude with, um, yeah, what are your expectations? Um, well, the first one did in England pretty well, I think. Uh, yeah. And here you're a well-known well cult band or something like that. Yeah, I think we can maybe you, just continue to do that really with this, this you, album. Do you, do, you have, do you really want to get a big band? You know? I, I would like yeah. us to, but I think we, we want to do it on our own terms. I wouldn't want to... Like, I, I know other bands who are bigger and I, you know, some of the things they have to do I don't think we cope with doing really. Um, I think it's good to be big, but I think we, we could be potentially more sort of a long-term band who got big or, by actually growing, not through kind of hype or anything like that. Yeah. So this album really to us is just another, it's just our latest, you know, it's basically just our latest group of songs and just... I don't know how people are going to react yeah. to it, but it's quite good not knowing, you know, we could yeah. have made the first album again and been guaranteed, you know, a certain level of acceptance in a way but I think we would, in the long term that wouldn't have done us any favours at all um, and this is really you know to show people that there's more to us than just you know once and never again really yeah